Now, sometimes conservative care is just not effective or the pain is so miserable, you just can't give conservative care a fair chance, even with pain medications. In these instances, a discectomy is the most common surgical procedure to remove a herniated disc. A discectomy is a minimally invasive surgical procedure in which some of the disc is removed. The advantages of this procedure are that the downtime is relatively small and the procedure is generally very well tolerated. Now, it's important to note that about 5% of disc herniations that undergo a discectomy end up re-herniating. So even if you have a discectomy, it's very important to follow through with exercises on the back end of the surgery in order to unload the spine so that the chances of a re-herniation are diminished. Also, there's a question of whether doing even a minimally invasive discectomy in which some of the disc is removed may or may not accelerate the overall arthritic process because you've essentially removed some of the cushioning in the disc. At the end of the day, though, a discectomy is a relatively small surgery, and it's an excellent option for recalcitrant disc herniations. It's important to recognize that discectomies are excellent options for treating radiating leg symptoms, but they're not terribly reliable at alleviating back pain. Sometimes a discectomy cures the leg pain, but it actually causes some back pain. Now, this isn't a deal breaker, because if the leg pain is horrible, then trading that for a more mild back pain is usually a good trade. And then that back pain can be addressed non-surgically. But it's important to realize what discectomies can and can't treat well. Now, sometimes, even if it's a disc herniation causing the symptoms, if there's a lot of surrounding arthritic changes, the surgeon may feel that taking out the disc may actually work to destabilize the spine. And if this is the case, the surgeon will have to perform a discectomy with a fusion. Now, fusion surgery is one in which the bones and the disc are fused together. This type of surgery can also address back pain if back pain is also present. There are many more problems with a fusion as opposed to a discectomy. Fusions have much longer recovery times. Fusions end up putting more stress above and below the fusion, and that can sometimes lead to something called adjacent level disease. The fusions themselves can develop scar tissue and irritate nerves. At the end of the day, the threshold to have a discectomy should be much lower than the one to have a fusion surgery. And still, sometimes fusions are necessary and excellent to do. It's just important to talk with your doctor about all the pros and cons of each of these surgical procedures, as well as any procedure. Now, the last point I'd like to make about surgery here is that if surgery is needed, then the stronger you go into a surgery, the stronger and the quicker you'll come out of it. 